morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. The early reports on Brock Purdy have started to come in, and the news is good. There's certain markers that you hit. He was 12 weeks out, and that was meant it was time to throw. He did did so and responded really well. Uh, he's just had one session thus far, but um, you know we're incredibly encouraged by that. Um, we'll take it as it comes, as we're doing. He's working incredibly hard, and the early returns are really good. So hitting all the timelines. That was John Lynch on Sirius XM NFL Radio after Brock Purdy's first throwing session on Monday. Keep in mind, Brock isn't throwing a regular football just yet, and we've still got a long way to go, but we can only take things one step at a time. And right now, the news after the first step is good. There was a report that Brock also had a throwing session on Wednesday, and that went well. I really wasn't able to confirm that at a level I'm comfortable with, so I didn't want to officially say it. But that is floating out there. I don't know if it's true or not, for the record. Lynch also added, quote, we're not going to do anything to put Brock in a situation where he's not fully healed. That means not just get back, but get back and get in reps under your belt. That's good because you and Kyle have been the ones raising expectations and putting week one in everyone's mind, John. Brock certainly didn't do that. You did. So hopefully they realized the pressure that they were putting on Purdy and have decided to ease up on that. Matt Mayoko, however, wasn't easing up on anything when he appeared on KMBR. Man, I tell you what, the vibe and just what is coming out of that building is so much more positive in the past two weeks than it had been. You know, it was always kind of a wait and see, pump the brakes, you know, hope he can be ready. And, you know, starting with Kyle Shanahan, who, you know, certainly is not among the more optimistic people you ever talk to. You know, last week he was like, oh, you know, the, we're, we're feeling good that he can be ready week one. And then John Lynch yesterday, I believe that's on Sirius SM radio. Uh, you know, he, he drew it a pretty rosy picture of where Brock Purdy is. So if I were a betting man right now and the odds were who's going to be the starting quarterback for the 49ers on September 10th against the Pittsburgh Steelers, my money would go on Brock Purdy. If there is anyone who knows the vibe from inside the 49ers building, we all know it's Matt Mayoko. Also during that interview with Murph and Mac, Mayoko said the Niners could get into another market. The one position where I would look at this year to kind of keep an eye on, there's a lot of edge rushers out there, uh, top flight guys, or at least big name guys who are generally on the wrong side of 30 but you know, have a pretty high opinion of themselves and, and want some significant contracts. If the 49ers don't see much or maybe there's an injury or something at the edge rusher spot opposite of Bosa, I could see them being in that market. They are putting a lot of faith in Drake Jackson, but it's good to hear that if things don't totally work out with Drake, that John Lynch won't be afraid to dip into his pockets and bring in another edge rusher. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Friday, anything on our new website, goldstandardniners.com. I wrote a story up there about why San Francisco can't find a franchise quarterback, why Drake Jackson is going to blow up this year, and there's a whole bunch more there for you. I'm going to have updates every single weekday. I promise you it will be worth your time. One thing to watch in order to get through this relatively calmer period in the offseason calendar. I'm going to try and bring in some guests before training camp begins. Next week, we will have Chris Sims on Monday and Damon Bruce on Thursday. And I promise I will continue to take as big of swings as possible to bring in some names that you want to hear from. One thing you may have missed, if you were hoping for a Tom Brady comeback, you're going to be disappointed. Brady himself told Sports Illustrated, quote, I'm certain I'm not playing again. While that does sound pretty definitive, I'll believe it when I see it. That's a wrap on today's 49ers in 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Enjoy your Friday and your weekend, everybody. Again, please go check out the new website, goldstandardniners.com, for more on these stories and everything else happening in 49ers land. I'm Rob Statz-Guerrera. We'll talk on Monday. <laughs>